Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and it is time for Horror Block. We're going to have a good time with this one, hopefully, because it feels very, very, very packed. It's very tight. It's like the top is like bursting up almost. Uh, it was wrapped in some like cellophane. Um, I guess that's our new thing right now. I unwrapped it before that, so, you know, because it was all kind of like ripped up anyway from being in the mail uh, with UPS, so. Um, so yeah, but uh, this feels really heavy. Uh, I think what was uh, teased for this month was, if I'm remembering correctly, because it's been a little bit, uh, Freddy vs. Jason, uh, Gremlins, and Krampus. Although I'm a little concerned because I went back and I looked at the website not long after that and they were not uh, advertising Krampus, they were just advertising Gremlins. Freddy vs. Jason and Rue Morgue, which is kind of weird because Rue Morgue is always in there, so that made me kind of uh, nervous that maybe this will not be so good if they're really hawking Rue Morgue as one of the items, because it's always there. So it's kind of weird. Uh, another thing I have to say real quick before I get into this is that uh, there was an issue recently between the Nerd Block company that does Horror Block and the Bam Box, where Nerd Block uh, basically called out Bam Box for having a bad box in November, which they did. It was a bad box. Uh, but the CEO of NerdBlock actually put out like a commercial on the internet basically about, hey, let us teach you what value is. So basically they were calling NerdBlock out saying they didn't meet the value and that's not cool. So they offered a free NerdBlock to people who had, um, who could provide an invoice number for their uh, November fan box, which I did. Um, so I'm going to get that free box because why not? Uh, do I totally agree with this beef that's going on? I don't know. You know, I don't really fully know. I'm going to have to let it play out for a little bit. I do think it's a little classless how NerdBlock handled it at least. Um, I haven't seen anything bad from Bambox, you know, like shit talking anyone. So I can't really feel like NerdBlock is in the right at the moment. But I'll take that free box and I really still like Horror Block. So I'm not going to stop with this just because of it. Like I said, I'll see what happens. But it's interesting because they were calling out Bambox about the value. Now, they suck with their shipping dates this time around because I got this November box, okay, on December 15th. And they always say, oh, they always say that they ship on the 25th of, the, of that month. Uh, so it was supposed to ship on November 25th, or they said, or within five business days. They did not ship within five business days. For me, I got the notice that it had shipped after seven business days. So they didn't even hold to their, you know, what they were saying is when they'll send it. So they're not even following their own guidelines, which is shitty in that case. Uh, but it was also over a weekend, so they basically were not... Seven days late, they were nine days late in getting this out to me, basically. So, well, late, late, really four days late and two business days late. But it takes forever to get here, and this is a November box halfway through December, so that's kind of stupid. It's basically the December box. I think they should kind of retool it and make this the December box, and then whatever box they're about to send out for January, we'll get it in the middle of January, it'll be the January box. But anyway... That's just kind of minor, actually. Sorry for my diatribe. I'm still excited about this. Like I said, it's kind of heavy. And actually, if you can hear, there's something in there that's jingling, which could be the Krampus item, because in Krampus, there's like this cool little bell that Krampus gives to people that he doesn't decide to kill, basically, or drag to hell, whatever it is. Um, so it could be something like that. Since it's heavy, I'm thinking maybe there's a mug or something in here. What I really want is for the Krampus item to be the shirt, though, because I really like these boxes for the shirt. But anyway, enough of the talking. I'm going to get into the box itself. Pull this up. There's a thing on top. Oh. Oh, my God. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Uh, NerdBlock customer, due to a stock issue, we are unable able to provide you with your correct shirt size this month. To make up for this, we are providing you with two shirt punch shirts in the correct size. We hope this helps with the inconvenience. Well, I guess I'm not going to know what the actual shirt was. I do appreciate the aspect of, you know, we're going to give you two shirts to make up for the one that's not there. They better be good shirts, to be honest, and maybe that's why this is so packed, because I have two shirts, but... 
that other shirt better not be one that I think is awesome because if that's the case, I'm going to be really pissed off. Um, well, there you go. You're calling out Bambox. Here's another thing. You can't even keep your, your shirt sizes stocked? That's shitty. Fuck that. All right, well, let's see if it's any good, though. All right, first shirt is... Um, I mean, it's a cool shirt. It has absolutely jack shit to do with horror, which is stupid. But um, it's a good shirt. I, I do like it. Uh, it's a, just a bunch of... So you can really see. It's a bunch of controllers. I mean, it's like all the old school controllers, all the consoles. Um, which is nice. I mean, that's a cool shirt. But I'm not ordering Arcade Block. So that's... I don't know. Alright, next shirt... I would like this to be horror related, please. It's not. It's Harry Potter related, which actually for a Harry Potter item, I do like this shirt as well, especially it's very timely because R.I.P. Alan Rickman. It's a Snape t-shirt, and I will rock this t-shirt. That is cool. Um, I like it. You know, you can see his face in there, and it says Snape, and that's really cool. Like, that's a good, you know, it's a good ode to him, but still... I, like I say, I get this mainly for the horror shirts, and I haven't gotten my fucking horror shirt, so that's ridiculous. <laughs> this is the worst timing, like, Nerdblock just called out Bambox, and now they're fucking up like crazy, are you kidding me? Oh my god, I appreciate having getting two shirts uh, to replace the one, but it doesn't make up for it, to be honest, because it's two things... That I, I mean, I like enough, but I would rather trade that in for the actual horror shirt that was supposed to be in here. And it better not be awesome, because I'm even more pissed. This ridiculous. There better be good stuff in here now, because this is not going well. Alright, um, cookie cutters, uh, cookie cutter two pack. Um, Freddy, I guess this is, this is a Freddy versus Jason item. So it's a Freddy cookie cutter and a Jason cookie cutter. I mean, that's fine. Uh, for people who like to make cookies, I, I may never use these, so I might give them to someone else who's big into horror and, you know, likes to make cookies, so, but that's fine. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's whatever. I, I mean, it's not really for me, but maybe someone will use it, so. Sorry, this is going to be a long episode because of all my ridiculous diatribes. So there's a book in here. It's, it feels kind of large. It's hard to get out of here. Rabbit in Red by Joe Chiang Chianicus. Okay, so it's a book. It's a book. Like, straight up, it's a... Uh, hopefully, it's a cool ho horror book. I like the idea of putting, like, actual horror books in here. That's a good idea. That's very cool. Um, Bill Wise has blood in his past, so he turns to horror films to, to wipe it clean. Uh, Jamie Stein has felt the betrayal of death, so she, too, takes refuge in the on-screen deaths of others. Now Bill, Jamie, and 17 other horror-loving teens have gathered at Rabbit and Red Studios, the brainchild of eccentric horror producer J.J.B. Bell, for the terror-filled, blood-drenched contest of their lives. J.B. has presented this competition as a race between the best of the best that will reward the, reward the winners with cash, internships, and a career making the movies they love. But things aren't always as they seem at Rabbit and Red, and soon life starts to imitate art. Will Bill and Jamie be strong enough to confront real horror to save their friends, or will they all fall victim to JB's twisted plans? This sounds like it might be young adult literature, in which case, I don't know. I'll give it a shot, though, because sometimes young adult literature is really good, so I don't know. I guess I can't totally poo-poo it, but um, good concept putting a book in. I like, I, I like the idea, because I want to read more horror books. All right, here's the jingling item. Oh, yep, it's a Krampus bell, as I kind of thought. There's the box. That, that's like an old school, like, myth, like the mythology of Krampus, like one of their old school drawn photos of what Krampus is supposed to look like, very gnarly. Yeah, and it's basically like a replica of the bell from Krampus, which, eh, a little bit kind of like a replica. It's actually... Like, the one on it is, like, engraved, and I don't even know if you'll be able to see it, but it says Krampus on this, but it's, like, a crappy sticker, and it's kind of hard to see. It's actually very hard to see, because it's, like, black on black, almost. Um, not, like, the best quality bell, but it, it's okay. I mean, it'll do. I'll, I can probably put this on the Christmas tree right now, since it's, you know, around that time. It's okay. 
Um, I kind of predicted maybe that's what that was. Well, I gotta go with this thing. Uh, oh, a snow globe. A, a gremlin snow globe. That's cool. Um, snow globes are cool. I don't really have many. I, well, let me, let me, uh, horror snow globes are cool, I should say. Uh, I like the idea of a horror snow globe. I do not like the idea of other snow globes. Let me pop this sucker out and see. Oh, it's like a mini one, which is good. I really wouldn't want like a real big one because if you can just have a smaller one, that's probably better. And then there's little gremlins in there with snow. I'm sorry there's glare on that, but you can see them pretty well. They're actually not very well rendered, to be honest. Um, I mean, you can tell they're supposed to be gremlins and it says gremlins on here, but eh, they don't look all too great. Uh, so a little disappointing on that. So anyway, uh, let's get to, it seems like maybe the last thing in here is room org and it's just room org. And, and it's really shoved in the bottom so I have to fight with it. Yeah, here you go. Room org. Like I've said many times, love, love, love this magazine. This magazine's amazing. Um, it's so great, great value. Very cool. Um, like Rumor, there's nothing wrong with it. Everyone should like Rumor. So we got some things, $10 credit for their store or something, $10 credit for shirt punch or something. Um, items, oh my God. So the t-shirt was a Cthulhu Awakens holiday t-shirt, which Cthulhu is awesome. Man, I would have liked to have that instead of these two shirts. God damn it. See, it's up here. Here, let me see if I can get it close enough that you guys can really like, get a good look. Eh, it's still kind of hard to see, but it's a Cthulhu themed shirt that's supposed to be like a sweater, like a Christmas sweater. That's cool. That actually would have been nice to have. Um, like I said, this is bad timing, Nerdblock, to be screwing things up like this. That's shitty. That is shitty. All right? I cannot say it enough. So the teasers for next time... Uh, very happy about at least one of these. Army of Darkness, it says. Friday the 13th. There's nothing wrong with that. That's cool. And American Horror Story. I'm not big, like, I watched the first season of America, uh, of American Horror Story, but I haven't seen past that. So it's, you know, whatever. Um, but I, I plan on actually watching it, so maybe the item will be worth having for when I get through all of it. Um, but Army of Darkness. Yes, to Army of Darkness. Hopefully this is really good. Um... I mean, I guess I got my value worth because I got two shirts, a room org, a book. You know, I got the snow globe. Uh, like I said, the snow globe's not like the best quality. It's kind of a little rough on the gremlins. They don't look the best. Um, the bells, the bells are okay. Um, it's a cool concept. It's a good idea. I'll put that on there. Uh, this might be young adult literature, which could be fine, could be stupid. I don't really have much use for the cookie cutters, but someone I know could be interested in those. And the shirt thing was a travesty. Um, I would rather not have these two shirts, in case people couldn't tell. I would rather have the actual shirt that I was supposed to get with this horror block. Mm. And you're talking shit about Bambox, nerd block. Mm. Okay. Anyway, I don't want to subject people too much to more of my diatribes. Uh, so I'm going to cut it off here. Um, overall, nah, on this box. Um, actually, I'll just say I'm, I'm pretty let down, mainly because of the t-shirt thing. So it just sucks when that kind of stuff happens. But at any rate, um, I'm going to keep with it because, you know, they've had some good boxes before. And there could be some really good stuff to come, and especially with Army of Darkness coming. Uh, and uh, we'll see how thing go, things go between Bambox and Nerdblock. So anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out, and please remember to keep it brutal.